Hey, Sarah. I'm getting too used to this. How long? Weeks. Relax. You haven't missed much. The Ark and the Sleepers, they're safe in the Sphere? You better like where we parked, because it's home now. The Sleepers wake to an amazing view. We did it, Dad. What about your implant and Sam? I am once again helping the Pathfinder activate Remnant. Our connection has been restored to normal. Normal? You need him again? I need Sam to make it easier. I was adapting, but damage was being done. We need to be careful, Sarah. The Nexus leaders are waiting, Pathfinder. Duty calls. Better not keep them waiting. It never ends. So, ladies and gentlemen, last time we finished Mass Effect Andromeda, but we're still playing. There's more to see here. What happened after the end, so to speak. So we're going to go through that today. Lots of quests rolling down there. We're just going to check out the basic story contents here to round off this amazing adventure. So let's go talk to those Nexus leaders then, shall we? Oh, I see where you are. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Oh, wow. There's like a million emails. <laughs> I'm just saying thanks. Speed of entries has exceeded so <laughs> Wow. The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. All right, get to it. What's so important? Initiative protocol. Thanks to you, we can finally proceed as intended. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has... accelerated concerns. An Ark has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient, and we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus, until elections when we can all step aside. At the appropriate time. If this person is supposed to represent people, shouldn't the people have a say? That is precisely why we need your backing. We can't impose a vote on the Angara. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Hager. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Hager keeps the position, and the timeline, in the Nexus family. Of course you would suggest Hager. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their right. Plus, the Moshai would help solidify relations. We're already partnered, thanks to your efforts against the Rokar. All the more reason to focus on our own issues. Oh, okay, so we can... It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's a proven leader. On a considerably smaller scale. It's hard to fail with so much military support on EOS. <laughs> Interesting. I made EOS a military base way back. I wonder if that had this effect. Actually, wonder... If that meant I got military support throughout this because of that. That's a very interesting thing. That still seems like a good idea. I don't... I, I don't know. Hager? Not sure. 
This representative should be one of the people actually doing the work. First outpost, first ambassador. Bradley's my choice. Safe enough. Nothing disruptive from Meridian's opening day. Something by the book for once. Sarah is feeling better. Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this. Huh. Even Addison seems somewhat human. So interesting, there's this... Uh... Sam Core. Integration of Hyperion systems is ongoing. Our Sam node will be accessible on return visits to Meridian. Oh wow, okay, so we can we can leave and then come back. Can't wait. Watching viability go up makes it all worthwhile. God damn, I'm boring. Oh, okay. Hey Kello. Ryder. Enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Kello. The Tempest is getting some much needed service. I thought I'd leave them to it. But I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Finding Meridian crystallized a lot of things about being a Pathfinder. I expect many around here are thinking about their own potential. I don't pretend to understand everything, but Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. It means a lot that you want to stick with us, Callum. Of course. And keeping my ship is a plus. I've learned a lot from you, Ryder. And Gil. Don't, please don't tell him that. <laughs> Things will change now. But that's all right. Nothing's ever really lost. Wait, what? Darla Vas Hyperion? What? Up straight, everyone. This is the guest of honor. Well, like you have to tell anyone that. Hunter, this is our opening. Let there be some sense of ceremony. As I was about to say, hello, Pathfinder. I am Chief of Operations, Ayora Pile. Second Wave Placements Officer, Darla Vas Hyperion. Hunter Carey, Reconstruction. Darla Vas Hyperion, that sounds like a Korean name. Hunter Kelly, can I get some clarification on reconstruction? Sure thing. I'm tasked with turning this once proud vessel into the future proud human capital. It's more complicated than that. No, it's a structural and organizational nightmare. Which is job security, which is perfect. Come back in a year. This will be a galactic hub. You won't know where the Hyperion ends and Meridian begins. <laughs> Ayora Pillay, you're in charge of Meridian? That's a big statement. I will oversee the operations and establishment of our port. Exploration and study of the... interesting substructure will be handled by Initiative R&D. I'm told that may take lifetimes. We'll ensure that we have them. That's what I trained for. Darla Vas Hyperion, placements officer? As our developments in the cluster grow more sophisticated, proper matching of sleeper and assignment will be vital. My mission is to ensure compatibility and fulfillment. When are you changing your name to Vast Meridian? I keep Vast Hyperion to honor the ship that brought us here, as my godparents would want. Just saying we're staying. Please forgive Hunter. He is an ass. <laughs> this is the first I've heard of the term second wave. It isn't literal. There have been several groups deployed for outposts. Second wave is about the staged evolution of the initiative. First wave out of cryo, structural support and generalists. Food and fences. Second wave is organizational. Less generalists, more specialists. More paperwork. It's needed to rapidly advance. I'm not spending a generation on the range. All right, well, cool. Sounds like Meridian is in good hands. I can only read the reports of how you brought us this opportunity, but rest assured, we will not waste it. Yes. Thank you, Pathfinder. Hi. what they said. Well, yeah, he kind of was an idiot. <laughs> All right, uh... Thank you, Pathfinder. I'll pay it forward, I swear. Arc Hyperion, 
Departed Milky Way 2185. Arrived Andromeda 2819. Current status recorded as Meridian. Well, narrator guy is getting work. Please select a topic. Oh, wow. While decommissioned as a vessel, the superstructure silhouette of Archiperion will be maintained in perpetuity. All internal structures are being adapted for sleeper deployment and future industrial and residential development. These internal structures have been designated as Port Meridian. The Hyperion was shepherded to its resting place by a coalition of allies who stood as one against the Kent Archon. Pathfinder Scott Ryder spearheaded the defense and remains assigned to Arc Hyperion despite its reclassification. Landing day has been proposed as a cluster-wide holiday. Status, pending. A <laughs> nice landing day. Arc Hyperion has been declared a monument to those who lost their lives in service of the initiative. A plaque has been placed at the highest point of the Hyperion superstructure. It reads, We turned our backs upon a dwindling star to chase a dawn beyond our childhood's end. The transformation of Arc Hyperion into Port Meridian continues both above and below the surface. This includes the planned integration of initiative and remnant technologies, pending further research. Port Meridian is currently powered by repurposed Tantalus drive cores, which require the frequent discharge of static energy. This causes a unique visual phenomenon during Meridian's night cycle that has been dubbed Aurora Meridiani. Haha. <laughs> Interesting. Like, I saw Jal here. Let's talk. <laughs> so, this is how you all party. Hmm? <laughs> Pretty tame, but don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You accomplished the inconceivable. I'm grateful to be part of it. No, I'm grateful. I couldn't have asked for a better team. We created this together. And exactly what it is, what it may become, <laughs> I can't even imagine. To think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Guess it worked out okay. <sighs> Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshai. But more than that, we'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people and mine. Together. New beginnings. That's what I came to Helios for. And what I dreamed of. Yes. <laughs> New beginnings. So, let's get to it. There you are. And here you are. Lucky us. How's Sarah? Much better. There might be two riders around soon. Imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. It's what you do. Meridian won't know what hit it. And we should think about what's next. This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this. Until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? They've got us to keep watch. Your smarts, my irresistible charm. You can't fix every problem with charm, sweetheart. I can try. Well, I know I can't resist you. I'm just concerned for everyone else. Everything Meridian could do. Cora, sometimes you just have to leap out there and see where it takes you. Yeah, I guess you do. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder. Well, that's very nice. I don't know if 
I should have come. I left so much. Moshe. Pathfinder, I'm told there will soon be a new voice representing Helios. Another of your leaders claiming to know what we need. It was an impossible choice, Ephra. There's no name that would represent everyone. Though the one chosen definitely represents someone. Don't they, Pathfinder? No one's pretending this is ideal, but it's a start. That's irrelevant. Things started long before any of you arrived. The only important question is, what will continue? Hire of GX is Pathfinder. To better tomorrows. To better tomorrows. Oh, Liam. Overwhelming. I don't know where to start. Who's quiet? I can. I don't care which world I'm on. It's all more than I hoped. Scott, kept a seat for you. In your planet, that's not getting less weird. About time Iridium got a proper grand opening. We all need this. Heard Sarah woke up. How's she doing? She'll be back on duty in no time. Too soon, if we let her. So, you're telling me you're having trouble explaining limits to a rider? Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo. Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? <laughs> uh, must be something going around. Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? Finally. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? Sometimes I just stare out the window, thinking, we did it. It's hard to believe. I feel you. Just... ground under our feet, knowing it's ours. I can't wait for more people to wake up. Enjoy it, Pathfinder Rider. Tomorrow, we're back on the job. Huh. Pathfinder, here! Alright. So glad you're up and around. I have important news for you. There always is. Yes, discoveries every day, but this is something we've been waiting for. Listen. So, white noise? Sorry, Sam. Active filtering. Initiative protocol Alpha Alpha to the screen. Protocol what? Processing. Repeating! This is the Ark Kirathia! The situation is not under control! Not an avoid until further updates! Repeating! Is that? The Corian Ark. And Elcor? Drell? Volus? Hanar, I think. That's some delicate business, putting Hanar in stasis. Point is, they're still out there. The Kila Sia wasn't destroyed. It's patchy. And there's no traceable vector, I assume? It bounced through the Scourge. I've doubled long-range probes, but... That's not a distress call. It's a warning to keep away from... wherever they are. Whatever's happening, they don't want to be found yet. We have to trust their Pathfinder. All we can do is wait. Oh, that's sad. That was pretty obviously meant to be the DLC for this game that will never happen. Oh well. So Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. What's the word on the street? Ryder saves the day. Pathfinder of the century. You know, the usual. Still? Get used to it. They're gonna name things after you when you die. And probably even before. So we heading out again soon? Oh, she's all grown up, leaving home, doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. <laughs> That's great. Seeing you two in cahoots makes me all misty. You know this is your fault, right? Helping us along? Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted. In so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. Hey, Drek. Not much, kid. Old man? Ha ha ha. This place is something else. It's just another starting line. Where we go from here is on us. Well, damn, you were listening to me after all. Through all the creaking of your old bones. Ha 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 ha. 
I sent out the Nakmore scouts. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. Told him to be extra wordy just for him. <laughs> He'll love that. He wanted the job, he can have the reports. It's not over, you know. There'll be more Ket and whatever else is waiting out there. Whatever happens, we'll be ready for it. Pathfinder and crew ready to take on the galaxy, huh? They won't know what hit him. I can't believe all that happened. Hiya. And they say you're the one to thank. Well, well I guess we're dancing. <laughs> Alright, well, now I actually talk to PB, which is what I intended. Oh, good, you're here. Maybe the festivities can finally begin. I don't like sitting on my ass. Places to see, people to go, you know what I mean. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but, you know, been there, done that. Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong, I'm proud of us. Helios is changing. And will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. Don't want to miss a thing. Oh, I almost forgot. Kalinda sent a congratulatory message. She was angling for an invitation, I think. Denied. Hope you didn't turn her back into an enemy. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate, remember? <laughs> Look who's talking, Miss Basale. Just keeping you on your toes. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. Let me go dance, PB. Suvi's having all the fun already. Meridian, huh? I see it every day and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. That sounds exciting. I know, I can't wait. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? Ugh, I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Joint research body, cooperation with the Angara? You're planning a party, right? Of course. Nothing builds a team like a good whiskey and a laugh. You'd better show up, Ryder. We wouldn't be here if not for you. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh, Lexi. Let's get out there, huh? Still standing? Still standing. Then I did my job. Somehow. Nothing more need be said. There's one thing. Dr. Lexi Tapero, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that did it. You jerk. Go on. I have a reputation to protect. <laughs> the remnant? Pathfinder, thanks for the invite to the party. I didn't organize anything. Not this. Landing day. That was worth jumping galaxies. <laughs> and hello, Gil. Hey, Ryder. Jill is walking the walk. The procedure took. I'm gonna be a dad. Congratulations. I'm thinking Mary if it's a girl, Deanne if it's a boy. Mary, Deanne, Marie Deanne. Pretty cool, right? Jill might have something to say about that. Oh, right. Note to self. Bounce names off Jill. So, this is supposed to be a celebration, right? You getting used to any of this yet? Meridian? The dream becoming a reality? We're not done by a long shot. Come on, try to ease up a little. Enjoy the win. But so you know, I've got the Tempest topped out and ready. You want to blow this hot dog stand? Just say the word. Callow's out there somewhere, time one on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. Who's flying then? You? Why the hell not? I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? You better get this nonsense out of your system in the next nine months, you know. <laughs> Little Mary's gonna have a fun dad. <laughs> oh man. Return to the Tempest and keep exploring. Well. Honored to see you, Pathfinder. Same. Glad to have you. 
A fantastic turn of fortune for the Hyperion. Perhaps one day the Parchero can expect the same. In not quite so dramatic a fashion, hopefully. Indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, did it. And we have unused skill points. They're going to remain unused. We, uh, we're we just going to go enjoy the party and enjoy our new world. And uh, that's it for Mass Effect Andromeda. We'll be moving on. The other series are, as you see this, probably already running. We'll have fun in other games. But thank you so very much for those of you. I know this is not the most popular content on my channel. Thank you so very much to those of you who have actually followed along all this way. I truly, truly appreciate it. And that's all for me. My name is Slice Lime, and we have done Mass Effect Andromeda. Take care, and I'll see you in another video.